Before we uh, get into uh, kickers uh, territory, the selection committee and uh, on the Cola show, when you guys debate this, how much do you think the number of points a team scores at the regional really weighs in whether they get an at-large bid? Yeah, absolutely. So after this race, we will kick it over to, as we see now, they are closing in on Anna Roar really hard. We'll see after this race, we'll have Gordon run the numbers uh, and, and tell us exactly who looks to be in, who looks to be out, as that gap disappeared. Wow quickly phil and it was subtle i mean you didn't really see any big change more maybe uh roar running out of gas than uh, davis and her teammate monson and now any fuller uh we have four up front uh two badgers putting the squeeze on anna roar from notre dame yeah and you mentioned that fuller's there too i think it was more the case of roar slowing down a little bit as opposed to just a dramatic move because that's three women right there able to close the gap now fuller hasn't quite got there yet but davis and monson are right there with anna roar uh we're probably down to about 500 meters or so from the finish kevin as uh, the great lakes regional the first of two races today your leader monson davis roar and fuller the top four this is going to be an interesting finale because i am so curious to see what alicia monson does amy davis She's always there. She's always in the mix. She's looking for a good end to her senior year. Last year, she was 67th at NCAAs. Uh, again, just everybody trying to, to get a clear shot, it looks like, uh, at the final straightaway. Fairly lengthy finishing straight. That's uh, common in most of these uh, pseudo golf course style uh, layouts that we're seeing now run at the regional and national championship level. So Monson is going to take the lead into that final turn. This is where last year she was battling with the best women in the nation to win an NCAA title on her home course. Came up a little short and finished fourth, but this is a different year, and this is a different Alicia Monson. She is in the front. She's putting ground on the challengers. Annie Fuller and Amy Davis behind Anna Rohr solidly into fourth place. And you saw Monson take a quick look over her right shoulder over the inside and uh, she realizes the gap she has now on Annie Fuller with her teammate Amy Davis in third. Uh, again, looking very composed up front, Alicia Monson. Yeah, Roar in fourth and then Vanderlyn in fifth. And a big gap between the rest of the field. That's top five really checked out on the rest of these runners in 33 teams competing for individual and team slots next week at Terre Haute. So we're down to the final stretch here. See Monson on the right of your screen, Fuller on the left. Alicia Monson takes a glance over her shoulder, running at home one last time on this Thomas Zimmer cross country course. And it's a comfortable win for Alicia Monson. She's gonna go into the NCAA championships as the individual favorite. Flashing the W sign for the Wisconsin Badger, Alicia Monson, she is number one in the flow track cross-country ranking she takes the win at the regional at great lakes andy fuller second amy davis third erica vanderlendy the freshman from michigan four then roar then hertenstein i believe no uh is that hertenstein in in number six and next uh magnus from michigan state there's three spartans across the line and we see uh abby nichols Costarellis finishing. They were up front early, and we'll check out these team numbers as they're coming in. Once again, now four Michigan State Spartans across the line. They're number seven in the country in the flow track rankings. They won the Big Ten with 56 points. It looks like they have the inside line on one of the two automatic team spots here in Madison. Yeah, Michigan had three come across in a hurry to join Vanderland, but right now unofficially, Michigan State 49 atop the Great Lakes region. We'll wait as you see the rest of the finishers. Those individual results are going to scroll on your screen. Good run there by Monson. I don't think anything was surprising about her effort today. You see she obviously wanted to win with all the looks she took over her shoulder, but also wanted to expend the least amount of energy as possible because even though there's eight days, it's only eight days before they really have to battle it again for a national title. So the gaps between those top teams lead me to believe that those are going to end up being confirmed, at least the place, maybe not the exact score, but Michigan State looks solid 
in first. Michigan second with 74. Wisconsin 100 in third. Ohio and, State, Notre Dame, and Indiana. And, and I sort of uh, buried the Buckeyes uh, at the uh, 4K mark, and they uh, had a big turnaround in the final 2,000 meters to move from sixth to fourth. Yeah, they had gone from fourth to sixth and then sixth back to fourth, so yo-yoing back and forth. Just a little bit of a deeper look in Michigan State and what how they – Managed to get 49 points. They went 2, 7, 8, 13, 19. So they had all their scores in the top 20. So that's Kettle, Poe, Graham, Magnus, and Fuller. Just a total team effort there once again for the Michigan State Spartans. Michigan goes 4, 14, 15, 18, 23. They had a 6 at 25 as well, too. We expect Wisconsin will receive one of those at-large bids, but that will be confirmed later on in the day.